laid back moods, sky above, sand below, good vibrations, feeling mellow. That I could drink thine eyes into my soul. You push my passion beyond control. Mark, did you write this? Yep. I think I love you. <laughs> it's not for you. It's for Judy. Mark, Mark, Mark. This foo-foo stuff never works. Watch and absorb. <laughs> well, that I could drink thine eyes into my soul. Uh, you got great legs and a really cute mole. <laughs> Told you it wouldn't work. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're going to start our family tree projects. Now I want you to research your past and prepare oral presentations. Yeah, yeah. See, soon I'll know the story behind the glory that is me. <laughs> We'll hear your presentations over the next week. Now, I want you guys to work hard on these because family trees are very important. Very important, because by learning where we come from, we'll have a better understanding of who I am. <laughs> That's right. Now, a good place to begin your ancestor search is by talking to relatives. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to look through old photos and uh, birth certificates. I'm going to contact the U.S. National Archives and do tons of research. Jake? Uh, may I go to the bathroom, teach? Mm -mm. See, you should have taken care of that before class. Uh, Tony... You didn't raise your hand! <laughs> but then again, why would you? Because you the teacher of... <laughs> Finally, after doing research for six hours, I can sort through these notes and figure out what it is that makes Jake Summers so cool. <laughs> well, here it is. The Gusta family history. Wait. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've got a big family. And I've got a big headache. Oh, I am up to my ears in Smiths. Smiths of the Ozarks. It's the Smith world after all. Here is Smith, there is Smith, everywhere is Smith Smith. <laughs> Hey, sweetie, want some company? Oh, sure. There's always room for one more. What are you talking about? You're alone. Ah, but I'm not. Black history, tracing your roots. See, I feel like my relatives are right here with me. No. Oh. They don't sit there! <laughs> Great-grandfather Wicks is sitting there. They don't sit there either. Great-great-grandfather Wicks is there. Oh, and I suppose great-great-great-grandfather is sitting there. Are you nuts? Ain't nobody sitting in that chair. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. It's nice meeting all of you. Bye. Isn't she cute? <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Huh? My family tree ends with slavery. No, 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 that can't be right. Hey. How's your project coming? Fine. What, what'd you find out? Fine. Uh, Sly is giving Sam a big, juicy kiss. Fine. The what? What? Well, I'll kill him. <laughs> Relax, I was kidding. What's got you so bummed? Ah, uh, it's nothing, man. Uh, right, I can tell. I mean, you look like everything's just fine. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, man. Everybody's got this amazing family heritage. But me, I can't get past slavery. It's humiliating. Well, I guess you'll just have to leave town. Oh, man, you're right. You're right. Well, what will I do? Where will I go? 
Tony, relax. I was just kidding. I mean, come on, you've obviously got to have more in your past than just slavery. I mean, why don't you just get another book? No, nah, man, I've looked at all the books. I've talked to my parents and my grandparents. I can't find anything before slavery. Sorry, man. I'm glad so many of you are enjoying your family tree projects. And I hear Lorena Costa has made an exciting discovery. Lorena? <laughs> You won't believe this. I discovered my most famous ancestor was Benito Juarez. <laughs> you know Benito Pablo Juarez? He was a Zapotec Indian. He helped overthrow Santa Ana. <laughs> he was president of Mexico from 1858 to 1872. <laughs> I'm also related to Mario Lopez. <laughs> President of Mexico, she had relatives who held public offices. I had relatives who cleaned public offices. Cheer up, Tony. I'm sure not everybody's ancestors are going to be that impressive, all right? Honorable ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present the awe-inspiring saga of the Wu family. Part one, the first 2,000 years. <laughs> Sam, you mean that one of your ancestors helped design the Great Wall of China? Well, he had some extra time on his hands after he came up with chopsticks. <laughs> you mean your ancestors invented those things you eat with? No, you know, the song. Hey, Tony, you must feel pretty lucky to be going out with Sam. Why would I feel lucky? Well, because she's got such an incredible past. No, oh, well, you think she's got an incredible past. Well, compared to my past, her past is a footnote. No, no, it's a toe note. No, it's a pinky toe note. <laughs> yeah, it ain't a pinky toe note in time. <laughs> Tony, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, you don't know who you're looking at, do you? Uh, you're looking at a descendant of royalty. See, one of my ancestors was the almighty king of an African nation. Whoa, that's yeah. Great. Yeah, he was a king. Oh, he was, oh my he God. was crazy. <laughs> hey, cuz, what's the time for love? Amore. Oh, Winkle! In researching, I discovered what a sentence of the great Italian lover, Casanova. Are you kidding? Really? We are related to the greatest lover the world has ever known? Oh, yeah, so go claim that. Which is rightfully yours. It's in your blood. <laughs> Just be romantic, charming, and smooth. Right. Romantic, charming, and smooth. Hi, I'm romantic, charming, and smooth. <laughs> but now uh, that wasn't. <laughs> Hi, I'm Judy. I'm Mark. And you probably wouldn't want to go out with me, would you? I'd love to. All right. Baba Blissimo! <laughs> okay, continue with the family tree presentations. Uh, Tiffany, I believe it's your turn. Uh, Miss Ross, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need some more time. To trace other Smiths? Well, no, actually, I finished the Smiths, but I'm right in the middle of researching my grandma's family name. And what is that? Jones. <laughs> Take as much time as you need. Jake? Okay. All right, my great-grandparents escaped from Czechoslovakia during World War II. And I decided to cook one of my favorite Slovak dishes for you. Halushki. Oh, gesundheit. <laughs> Halushki is cabbage and noodles. Yeah. One whiff and you're back in Slovakia. Oh. <laughs> Two whiffs and you know why you left. <laughs> Could someone open a window, please? <laughs> All right, now don't pick out on Hlushki because I made a traditional Slovakian dessert. Beet pudding. Oh, well, I'm afraid we won't have time for that today, Jake, but I am sure we will always remember your presentation. Especially when we pass a dumpster. <laughs> uh, Tony Wicks is next. Tony? Is Tony here today? 
I am a descendant of the great king Mansa Musa. <laughs> now, Mansa Musa was a sovereign ruler of the African Empire of Mali in the 14th century. Now, Mansa Musa's reign was a period of stability, prosperity, scholarship, and cultural brilliance. And this is the type of clothing he might have worn. And those are my earrings. A king is wearing my earrings. <laughs> now, Due to my relative's genius, Mali became one of the most important trading centers of the entire Islamic world. Tony, this is very impressive. You've done a lot of work. Yeah, it was a thrill to do my research. I'm really proud of my heritage. You're all so lucky. Most African Americans can't find records of their ancestry prior to the Civil War and the end of slavery. You know what? Why don't we hold the rest of the class out in the park? Why? Because it's such a nice day? No, because if I have to smell this halushki much longer, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> what? Hey, King Tony. Could we have the honor of carrying you to your next class? <laughs> We've never carried a king before. Yeah, it's good to be the king. Come on, carry on. Now. Come on Excuse me. Might I have a private audience with his majesty before he gets carried away? Of course, my trusted advisor. Excuse me. What are you doing? You're not a king. I know that, and you know that, but they don't know that. Look, what's the big deal, man? I'm just trying to have some fun. Look, I'm not going to rat you out, but I think you should tell the truth. What for? In a couple of days, everybody's going to forget all about this. Your Majesty, on behalf of the homecoming committee, we've elected you homecoming king for life. Hey! Bada boom, going out with Judy tonight. Not bad, cuz. Not bad. Wow, so I breakfast with Tamara Plimpton. But don't tell her, because I'm meeting Chrissy Lavelle in 15 minutes for lunch. Wait a minute, you sleaze monkey. You're stringing along three innocent girls and you're bragging about it? You got it, cuz. I'm so proud. <laughs> When you've got Casanova in your blood, the girls will work you overtime. Ciao, babe. Hail the king! Hey, hey, enough. Now, please, really, I don't deserve your praise. Hail the humble king! That's better. King Tony, on behalf of the other surfers, we would be honored if you would perform the blessing of the boards. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, do you believe the power of Monster Moose is traveling through my body and into these surfboards? We believe. believe. Come on, get a cowabunga on that top. Cowabunga. Oh, why you in there? You might as well throw me a high damn. High damn. These boards are blessed. Bam. Speech, speech, speech. One moment while I talk to my royal speech writer. <laughs> Quick, what, what do I do? Well, bless my bike. It's been misfiring. I mean, I'm serious. It's not a joke. That's right. It's not a joke. This whole thing is way out of hand. Well, then what do you want me to do? You gotta come clean, okay? Oh, yeah, right. You want me to tell him I only come from slaves? Yeah, better a slave than a liar. Yeah, forget it, man. They treat me great. There's no way I'm gonna tell him I'm not really a king. I can't believe you lied to us about being the descendant of a king. Yeah, in Mexico, you would be referred to as el que nos mintió por habernos dicho que era un descendiente del rey. What does that mean? He who lied to us about being the descendant of a king. Hey, you would have done the same thing if you found out about your past when I found out about mine. Hey, Tony. Is this a mafia thing? <laughs> Because if it is, you can join the Witness Protection Program and move to Phoenix and live under the name Sidney Leibowitz. So I? It's not a mafia thing! Uh-huh. Sure it's not, Sid. Tony, I don't understand. Of course not. You got 2,000 years of uh, artists, builders, and inventors. All I am is the great-great-great-grandson of a slave. 
There's absolutely nothing wrong with having a humble background. Look at Jake. Jake has a humble background. <laughs> but he also has a really cute foreground. Mm. <laughs> Tony, what are you going to tell Miss Ross? Not to mention everybody at school. Oh, man, I don't know. Wish I could just disappear, like my ancestors. What are you doing here? Picking cotton. What does it look like I'm doing? Why? Because cotton don't pick itself. Of course, I'd have a lot more respect for it if it did. <laughs> Boy, for one of my relations, you sure didn't inherit the Wick sense of humor. Great, great, great grandfather Wicks? I don't believe it. No? Then I guess you're just the simple Simon. I hate my heritage, whining, chopping down the family tree food. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad, great, 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 great. <laughs> oh, oh, but, but you, you, you got to get out of here. What if somebody sees you? You're not ashamed of me, are you? Well, yeah. What if somebody finds out that my only ancestor is just a down-in-the-dirt slave? Oh, nothing personal. Tony, you've got lots of ancestors far back before they were slaves. Some of them could have been poets, doctors, even kings. Man, I wish I could prove that. But all I can prove is that Tony Wicks came from slaves. There's nothing more humiliating than that. Is that so? Well, I've known slaves with just as much dignity and self-respect as any free man. Tony's slavery was not the beginning or the end of the Wicks family history. And even if it was, your past shouldn't be the only factor in how you feel about yourself. Well, I guess I'll have to think about that. Hey, uh, you mind if I help you finish picking this cotton? It's not as easy as it looks. Ah, oh, come on, how hard can picking cotton be, huh? Eh? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> concludes my family ancestry. All two million Jones and five million Smiths. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. That was truly exhausting. <laughs> uh, next, we have Mark and Sly Winkle. <laughs> Buongiorno, my little Italian cannoli. Where are you a walk? Flowers are grow. Hey, cool at Casanova. <laughs> In researching our illustrious Winkle family tree, I discovered we come from a long line of liars. Who would have guessed? <laughs> First up, we have Giovanni Winkolini. He was best known for proving that Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel wearing a bikini. <laughs> That's a lie. You know it, baby. Like I said, Winkles are liars. Next up, we have Pope Luigi Winkolini. There was never any Pope Winkolini. That's right. He just said that to impress a hot Sicilian babe. <laughs> Much like my cousin Mark here, who said we related to Casanova just to get close to Judy. Oh. I didn't say that. You said we were related to Casanova. Hey, I'm a Winkle. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, I still like you, and I hope this doesn't affect us. Well, since you're a Winkle, that means you're lying. So I'm dumping you, and I'm not lying. I'm a gonna kill you. Uh, can you forward my grades to Phoenix, and I'll be under the name Sidney Leibowitz. Leibowitz, Casanova. Pardon. Uh, Miss Ross, may I please say something to the class? Sure, Tony, what is it?
<sighs> I made up my past because I wasn't happy with the one I have. Now, Mansa Musa was real, but whether or not I'm his descendant, I have no idea. The truth is, my ancestors were slaves. I'm sorry I lied to you all about it. May I please redo my presentation? Of course you can. Now, although he didn't have the chance to become rich or, or educated, my great-great-great-grandfather was a decent man who passed on a lot to his family. He taught us values, uh, dignity, and self-respect. Well, he and his wife, they lived, loved, and worked on a farm. And... Oh.